Hey what's up everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Today I decided to switch up with the Fortnite videos and just make another After Effects tutorial. So today I want to create a very nice LED effect. I used this LED effect in my latest G Fuel advertisement. I'll put it on the screen right now so you can see it. I'm going to show you guys a simple way to do this and a little bit more difficult way to do this. The first one requires a certain plugin but I will explain what plugin that is later. So first of all we're gonna start. I already have an image imported. We're gonna create a new composition just 1920 by 1080p, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna drag in our image and we're gonna create a new solid. There we go. Set it to black, of course, and put it on at the background just as a backing. So here's the first way. First effect we're gonna use is a very simple effect. It's the easy way. It's from a plugin called Boris Continuum Complete. So we're gonna type in BCC LED and we're gonna drag it on the image and there you go. This is sort of a LED effect only the circles are way too big so we're gonna go to the effect panel and we're gonna turn down the size all the way to one. And as you can see we have an LED effect but it's not done yet. I'm going to drag in the image once more for the second way to do this. The little bit more difficult way. We're gonna turn off this layer. So for this one you want to turn on the proportional grid so you can easily see where the middle is you want to go to the circle tool and you want to draw a small circle around the size of the led dots you want as you can see i like this i like this dot so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click here we click on add and we're gonna click on repeater basically repeater just repeats the shape so there's three copies right now as you can see one two three we're gonna turn this off i'm going to turn off this layer so it's easily visible so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on transform and we're gonna set that position of the x to 10 or maybe even lower let's set it to five or something right now we're gonna increase the amount of coffees and we're gonna decrease the amount of offset just do this until your entire screen is filled with the dots then we're gonna click on add again and we're gonna click on repeater once more this will also work on the first repeater so if we set the transform options of the x to zero and the position of the y to ten as you can see it will come underneath it we're gonna increase the copies of this and of course decrease the offset until it matches there we go right now we have a very nice grid what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna set the track mat of this to alpha mat shape layer one and we're gonna turn on the image and there we go we have a simple led effect of course these are a bit smaller than the other one but that shouldn't be a problem because we can easily just go to the ellipse pad and scale up the size a little bit to like um let's say five or something there we go and now it's much bigger already. So I'm gonna continue working on the BCC lab version because it's just a bit easier. Of course you want the LEDs to glow. So I'm gonna use the effect S glow. It's from Sapphire. You can also use a normal glow but I just prefer using this glow before because it's very easy to handle. I'm going to set the width of the glow to 10 and the brightness to 5. Also we're gonna change the threshold to like 0. 0.2 or something maybe decrease the width to 5 there we go then we're gonna select the effect and press ctrl d to duplicate it we're gonna increase the width a bit to like 50 or something and we're gonna decrease the brightness to like 1 and there we go and now we have a really nice led effect so if i mess around with the fx settings as you can see we can easily recreate this nice led effect i hope you learned something from this tutorial i really had fun making it i hope i can get some of these designers on my channel a bit active again thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video bye everyone